many uh, nice features of the vein selectors are that they can be used uh, not only in the coronary sinus but also within the branch veins to direct the wire where you want it to go. So you can navigate um, within, within the venous system. So this is an example of how the braided vertebral vein selector is used without a wire to get, navigate uh, in the coronary venous system. So we have this anatomy and we decided uh, that we would like to put the LV lead into this side branch. We thought if this would be a little too far apical uh, and that this would be more stable if we could get the, the uh, lead nice and deep into that branch. So this is the initial venogram, and we selected this branch, as I mentioned, and then we put the vein selector in, and we're driving the vein selector around looking for that branch. So we got into some branch, and we injected contrast, and you can see that this is not the branch we really wanted. This is one of the smaller ones that's more proximal. So we draw it back, and then push it and then uh, put it back in and puff a little contrast and we find the larger branch and then from there we can advance uh, a wire into the branch and then uh, advance the vein selector even further uh, into the branch over a uh, 0.014 inch wire and then you can advance the subselector over that uh, and then put the lead in. So this is the concept here is that you can you can direct rather than poking the wire around and hoping that it goes someplace where you want it to go, um, you can with some practice and being careful, you can uh, drive the soft vein selectors around inside the veins. Uh, to get the wire where you want it to go rather than poking the wire around.